Hey, how's it going productive people? My name is Carter Sirach and in today's video we're talking about the Aura Ring. And the Aura Ring is this great wearable ring you can see it on my hand right now. So that's the Aura Ring, pretty simple, pretty sleek. This is the stealth colorway that I personally have right now and I really like it a lot. This is my third Aura Ring. So the Aura Ring is first and foremost a sleep tracker and it also doubles as a pretty solid activity tracker. And what the ring tries to do is give you a good picture of your readiness and it tries to show you your overall recovery. So this is something that's marketed towards peak performers, athletes and stuff like that. This is a pretty high ticket product starting at I believe $299 for some of their entry level models. This model, the Stealth colorway is a $400 ring and then they have uh, some that are around $1,000 that have a diamond in them which I think is just kind of silly. Like this ring, I, I like it because it doesn't look too crazy and it's not super gaudy or anything like that. I can just wear it and my activity gets tracked, my sleep gets tracked, and it's so lightweight that I don't even think about it. So as you can see, there are some little nodes on this ring. There's three, there's one right here, one right there, and then one just above my finger. And these nodes, what they do is they track temperature, they track heart rate, and they also track movement, which is pretty cool. So through and through, this thing is on you on a daily basis, all night when you go to sleep, and it's pretty seamless and nice to uh, have your biometrics kind of just being tracked without you even thinking about it. I also have an Apple Watch, and I really like the Apple Watch for like activity tracking and whatnot, but the fact that you know the battery life on this isn't super amazing, and it's this big red thing that has to go on my wrist, uh, it's not ideal for every situation. You know, the Aura Ring, I would say, doesn't have as good of activity tracking as something like the Apple Watch or a Fitbit might, but it's still really good. And the Aura Ring can even uh, detect when you're doing workouts and stuff like that, and it will suggest in the app, it'll say something along the lines of, hey, did you work out this morning or did you go on a walk? And usually it's pretty accurate about figuring out what you did so that you can tag it in the app and then look for trends. Uh, let's say you do uh, some high intensity like powerlifting or something like that. If you tag that on multiple days, then Aura might start to notice a trend and you'll see that reflected in the data in the app. So I've got the app opened up here and I'm actually just going to run through and talk about a few of the features. So starting out here, we have our calorie burn for the day at 177 and my inactive time, as you can see, is quite high. I've been working and sitting at my desk for most of the day, but I did get a workout in this morning. And that brings me to the next thing. If you are going to do any sort of weight training with this watch, you're definitely gonna wanna look out for uh, like scuffs and stuff like that. So I don't know if you can see that, but they are quite fine and they are just on the inside of the ring, but there are quite a few scratches on this ring just from trying to work out with it on and picking up dumbbells and barbells and whatnot. The front of the ring, on the other hand, doesn't have anything wrong with it, so it's kind of just on the bottom of my hand, which really doesn't really bother me with a ring like this. I'm not the type of person that has to have, like, all of my things in perfect condition. Um, I like, you know, my daily sort of tools and whatnot. I like to be able to beat them up. I like to have a camera that I can beat up. I don't mind beating up my ring, and honestly, I don't like having anything that's so nice that I'm scared to get a little scratch on it, but that might differ from what you are looking for in a wearable. Some people are more interested in the fashion aspect of it and want everything to look really nice. So if that's you, I mean, the Aura Ring, its durability is pretty good, but you are going to wanna be careful with it if you don't wanna scuff it up. Um, you're also gonna wanna make sure that you're uh, careful about the battery life with it. Now that I'm done with that tangent, let's jump back into the app. So as you can see, as I scroll through here, my readiness is an 80 today and the app has suggested, uh, it says ready to go. You have a nice amount of easy days in your workout routine lately. If you feel good, how about switching to more intense activities? And what that's suggesting is that I just basically work out harder um, because I've had some light days and I'm actually just coming off of a weekend. So that's what it's telling me to do essentially. And an 80 for your readiness is pretty good. I would say it's kind of in the average range. Uh, typically you're gonna wanna shoot for getting a crown. Um, and I didn't get a crown today on my readiness. But if I go down to the bottom of the screen where it says readiness and I click that readiness tab, 
I can see my past few uh, my past few days of aura ring readiness. As you can see, some of these in here have these little crowns on them, this 87 and this 91. These days were a lot better for my readiness. And the way that they come up with this readiness score is by looking at your resting heart rate, your heart rate variability, your body temperature, and your respiratory rate. And then they also might factor in things like what kind of activity you had that day and just overall, what have your trends been for uh, a larger time span, like a week or a month, for instance. And it lays out the data quite nicely. As you can see here, we've got my lowest heart rate and it kind of pinpoints that on a graph and shows you your heart rate throughout the night, your beats per minute. And then it also shows you your average HRV, which stands for heart rate variability. And this is a biometric that people use to keep track of uh, just general wellness and recovery. If I go to the sleep tab on the bottom of the screen, you can also see my total sleep. And if you check out that like iceberg looking thing on the top, it's basically a graph showing you uh, how much time I spent awake, how much time I spent in REM sleep, light sleep, and deep sleep. And as you can see, this was one of my peak nights. I got the total of nine hours of sleep and I had 10 hours and 45 minutes in bed. Uh, so if you scroll down here, you'll see that I was kind of lacking in deep sleep on that night. My restfulness wasn't great, which means I was probably moving around a lot. Probably had a lot of wake ups, a lot of movement in my sleep. But overall, that was a pretty good night. Now let's go over to the final tab activity. And this is going to show the days with the highest activity. So if I kind of scrub through these here, you'll notice that this, this day had some pretty good activity. There's lots of white. Um, I had a pretty hard morning workout and then it looks like I took my ring off around the midday point because it wasn't tracking the rest of my daily movement. But let me just see if I can scroll through here and see if I can find a really solid. Yes, see this day was pretty good. Um, this was probably when I was doing like a run or something like that. So as you can see that daily movement was extremely high at around like one o'clock and I also had some lower peaks coming in. Uh, but if you get your heart rate up and you're moving a lot, that is the main thing that it's going to detect. It has an accelerometer in it and it also has an infrared light that senses your blood movements and your heart rate. I'm gonna navigate back to the homepage now. And this is actually the screen that you're gonna spend the most time on. This is probably the screen that you're going to see when you start your day and you wake up and you just wanna get a general idea of how your sleep was. This was a bad example of readiness. So it says your resting heart rate shows that you might not be fully recovered to help recharge your energy levels, take it easy today. So it gives you those nice suggestions that kind of come in just at the right time and say, hey, maybe you should take a bit of a day off or maybe you should push a little bit harder today because you've got plenty of rest and you haven't been pushing super hard. This can get a little bit confusing if you're trying to use this for activity and you don't constantly keep the ring on like myself. I personally use it more for sleep, but I'll wear it to workouts occasionally. What I wear for more of my workouts and stuff like that is the Apple Watch. I'll just throw it on for a workout or a run, and then that'll all sync into Apple Health. And that's the other nice thing about the Aura Ring is it'll sync into your Apple Health account if you have an iPhone or if you have like an Apple product so that you can have your sleep data right here. You can have your workout data right here on the Apple Watch. So that is one of the nice things about it. I'm rocking a size 11 aura ring right now, and this is just on my pointer finger. I like it on my pointer finger. Um, I guess if you wanna wear it on a different finger, that's fine. I have worn it on my middle finger before as well, but I've just found that pointer finger size 11 fits perfectly for me. It doesn't come off too easily, but it also doesn't give me too much resistance. You know, when I get up around my knuckle there, it's, uh, it's a little bit harder to get off, but I can definitely pull it off if I want to. And uh, what Aura will actually do is they'll send you like a sizing kit and instructions for sizing when you do decide to order a ring, if you do want to get a ring. So my overall consensus of the Aura ring, I like it. It's a little bit pricey. It's not for everyone, but if you're a peak performer and you like nerding out about your sleep and you like to look at your sleep stats, it's definitely amazing for that. Another feature that I forgot to mention is that you can tag your days with different things. Like I can tag it if I have like blackout curtains or something like that that night, or if I sip tea before bed, or if I read a book, or if I reduce 
blue light. So if you're into experimenting and biohacking and poking and prodding and changing things in your routine to try to see if it improves your overall health, then the Aura Ring is definitely a great tool for anyone to have. I value my sleep a ton, just like I value like my workspace a ton. So I try to you know buy things that are top of the line. Like I try to get the newer MacBooks. I have a nice desk. I have a place where I can really enjoy being. Um, and I usually don't compromise on quality. Uh, so sometimes that does come at a cost. And same goes with sleep. I have a really nice mattress that I like. I also have uh, this nice ring because I think that it helps out a ton and it, it just makes sleeping in general a little bit more interesting and it gamifies it a bit as well. So definitely check out Aura Ring, consider getting one. I bought one for one of my clients. He loves it. Uh, you know, anybody that I've met with an Aura Ring, they usually like it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about the Aura Ring and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.